Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is Badger Lord Patrick here once again on a Wednesday night. Thank you very much for your patience. Choir practice actually did go very well this evening. I don't know if it is because we are getting better at what we're doing or uh, if Doc just decided to take it easy and expose us to these new pieces of work that we're going to be working on, these new pieces of music that we haven't done before. It's been a while since we have done it. And uh, we're, we're going through these pieces and we didn't receive a terrible amount of criticism. Don't know how that happened. He is a demanding choir master and that's a good thing because uh, he wants us to do well and I definitely appreciate that. But a lot of these pieces, uh, we have a few more rehearsals before we need to do most of them. The other ones, at least to me, seemed pretty easy. So, I don't know. It could get more intense in the coming weeks, it could be less. Anyway, you didn't come here to hear me blab about that. Heck, you don't hear me. You don't come here to hear me blab most of the time. But does that stop me? No. However, Seeing as I've picked up that I've been doing it, we can go ahead and do something else. Now, can't we? I think we can. Okay, so, without further ado, uh, it being 10 o'clock already, um, and me having some work to do, I think we'll cut to the chase, and instead of doing the customary failure at Age of Empires 2, we'll start with something else. And I feel like continuing my work in Stonehearth. So, I'ma bring that up. Let me see, where did I leave? I think here. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Now let's see, I've got the proportions right. Let's see how it shows up. Good start. Okay, uh, need to. What do I need to do here? Stretch it out a bit, I think. Nope, that actually makes it worse. Um, uh, pull it down. Squeeze it in. I'm just trying to get it to look half decent. That's all. Okay. Close. Very close. I think, um... I think without severely deforming it, that's about as close as I'm going to get. So, alright. Let's move along, shall we? So, I was beginning this one with the Alliance, but a lot of these buildings are going to be made out of wood, frankly. And while mining seems to some people like a good idea, it's really not what I'm going for. So, sorry, hard work, but we're going to try this a different way. And actually, that really is pissing me off, so, um... And I think I know what to do, unfortunately. It's... There we go. Yep. Okay, there we go. That's... Still not perfect, but it's much better. I just don't want all of that black space over there. You know what I mean? It's just freaking annoying. Okay. But the goal is to try and get some, uh, dachas and, uh, ooh. Wait, what? What are we doing here? <laughs> oh. This was my test, um, okay, okay. I see what's going on here. Okay, so... This isn't actually where I want to build at the moment. I, I didn't start a new game, unfortunately. 
this is kind of how I go about building things in Stone Hearth. I prefab things, as it were. So I don't just... I don't just go into a game and just build them. That would be boring, at least for you. I mean, in my free time, I might freehand some of these and then have them build. But I like to just prefab things when I go on camera, uh, as often as I mean to go on camera. And this is where I do a lot of that. So I've been doing a lot of building and modifying of buildings that I already have. For, exist for instance, my duchess here, like this one. Um... It's supposed to have a fence around it, but the reason I don't have one around it is because that's a lot of fence posts, and that's a pain in the airs to actually have to have my villagers put down. They just, they don't do it in a timely fashion, and the dacha itself, the house, uh, has the ugly, um, uh, what is it again? The scaffolding all around the house, and it just it just looks bad, and the people live in an unfinished house, and it's... yeah. So I decided to separate the fence from the house itself for my dachas. Unfortunately, I lost one of my dacha designs, so... Well, yeah, that's unfortunate, but at least I do... At least I do have two of them, and I can rebuild that third smaller one if if the desire comes upon me. But, yeah, I've got them paired up, and I can, I, I can even use these dacha enclosures in order to build more custom houses. So, that's another good reason to separate the enclosures from... Yeah. Okay, I think you get the idea. Okay, so... Just to be sure that I've got this working properly. Okay, good. I think I'll delete that then. I still have a couple of other things here, like uh, this granary here that I found. I found all these designs off of, like, the internet. And they're kind of my inspiration for all this. I don't know why I have that. <laughs> Please note, by the way, that that is not the actual design for their temporary sleeping quarters thing. Anyway... This one, this, uh, this is actually a design for a Norwegian stave church. Um, why would I choose to do that when I'm trying to imitate Russian architecture? Well, two reasons. Uh, for one thing, um, I don't really know how to design Eastern Christian church architecture in this game. It's, um, Eastern churches have a very different architecture from Western ones. And, uh, the biggest example of that is things like steeples and the sanctuary itself, the biggest part of this thing. So, you see, I'm just going to place this down here just to show you what's going on. Okay, so you see how the steeple here is pointed? Well, you've seen, like, the onion bulb things in, like, Russian architecture, like on the Kremlin or St. Basil's Cathedral, as it's, as it really is. It's often missed. Anyway, I don't know how to build onion bulbs in an efficient way in this game. When I say efficient, I mean, well, again, let me show you. I want you to be able to see the inside of your churches when you do that, and there are some things that you can't look beyond. Note this tower here, which I can't... If I had gone about building it differently, I might actually be able to see through it, but because I used these blocks, you cannot see through those blocks. Yeah, see, those are opaque. You can't look through them. I could build onion bulbs, and I have built some other things that use opaque blocks, but it's, it's not ideal. And that's also why I don't do Eastern Church architecture. If you look at this, this is supposed to imitate a Western Rite altar rail, which is a, which is part of what a, what a, what a, what a Catholic or Lutheran church might have in it. 
Same with the pews, the benches. Everyone's seen this before in movies and that. Um, in Eastern churches, they can have the pews if they're in, like, America or the West. Many of them don't, so that's not really a problem. The big problem is, instead of the altar rail like you see here, you'll see a big wall full of colorful icons. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing, but I can't really replicate it in this game, because they don't have pictures in here. And even if they did, I, you couldn't see through this wall. You could build a door, and, and it wouldn't look right either. I think you might be able to build a... You might be able to build an Orthodox-style church on a very... On a much larger scale than this thing. But, anyway. Um, that's why... That's why I opted to build this style of church, even though it's not formally correct. For Russian-style architecture. Because of intricacies inside that... Um... I'm just not willing to solve it this time. And, and besides, I could never do justice to the beauty of a good Russian church. Okay, e enough op opining about what I cannot do. Let's start up a new map, since I flubbed that. And we'll try and put some of this architecture stuff that I've put together to good use and show off how we can make a farming community with the Ascendancy. For those of you not familiar with Stoneheart, and I really wouldn't blame you because this is kind of an indie game. So it's... It's not... Well, it was an indie game. It began as an indie game as a Kickstarter. Anyway, but... Uh, I'll start a new game for you. I don't know if I did this the first time. So, the Ascendancy builds things out of... The basic difference is this. The Ascendancy builds things out of wood. Raya's Children builds things out of clay. And the Northern Alliance builds things out of stone. And when I say builds things, I don't just mean buildings. I mean furniture. Wood is one of the easiest things to come across on most maps, including the one we're going into. There are three different places you can go. This place is the best to farm in, and it's the best for noobs as well. And it's the home of the, de of the Ascendancy. The desert has much more stone and sand and much fewer trees. I've tried building in it before too, kind of crusader castle type things. But this time, we are, in order to do this Russian themed thing, going to go to the Arctic. Which is the home of the Northern Alliance and rich in stone, to be sure. And not very good for growing, but we're going to do that. Just to go for the flavor I'm going. And I am going to, um, uh, make it, make it so that they will be fighting some things. All right. And of course, it will warn you, we should, uh, choose our preferred now. I'm going to do what I did last time, and I'm going to use my random name generator here. Please excuse me, I hope this is not too boring for you, but I, 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 I like flavor. You know? Okay, before I do that, though, uh, let's generate our people. Okay, so first... Okay, this guy seems to be... Okay, we should try and aim for some... He... Okay. This is going to be... This guy is going to be our cleric. So we will start him off as our herbalist, and... Then we will turn him into a cleric, so that he can, so that we can roleplay him as a, a, a priest. Okay. Denis Ignatov. No, no, Ignatov. Okay. Let's generate another. All right. 
Surrounded by four women? Oh, no, 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 no. That will not do. Uh, passionate Trapper? Ooh. Uh, only problem I see with that is the body spirit. I mean, the body is not very good. That's not good for a Trapper. Pluviophile and Charismatic. Uh, but we don't need another one of those. Opinionated. Whatever. Okay. Um, let's reroll some of the other ones, too. Um, let's see. You're courageous and spirited already. Not bad. Still, I think I will make you male and give you another name. Yosef Yaroslav Tchaikovsky. Um, let's just stick with Yosef. Why not? Wait. Yosef Nevsky. Like Alexander Nevsky. Kinda? Yeah, yeah, maybe? And just because I feel like it, a yeah, different sort of hair. And different sorts of markings, too, I guess. Yeah, sure. Sure, sure, sure. I can't help but feel there's something wrong with that, but, uh, whatever. I'll take it. Also change up his skin color. That, that... Okay. Uh, Lily Lou, you're going to be... Shura Pavlovsky. Sure, of course, it is a Russian, at least that's what my random name generator is telling me it is. Okay, mind and spirit, uh, mind, body and spirit, uh, that's not good. Man, I'm getting a lot of night owls here. Pavlovsky. Okay. I mean, come on. Uh, who do, who doesn't like having their names a certain way? Okay, cultist? Uh, no. You're not going to pray to any bunny gods, thank you. Um, if it wasn't for that, though, you wouldn't be too bad. Uh, Featherweight, Mind, Body, Spirit, um, could be a good uh, farmer. Okay, we'll take you. Um, what else are we going to need? Okay, we have a fighter, an herbalist. We need a carpenter. Uh, you could be a good carpenter, too, although you are a bit lightweight for it. And, uh, last one. Oh, let's give you down there a name, by the way. Uh, wait, yeah. <clears throat> Zlata Sokolov. Oh yeah, that looks good. In my subjective opinion. Damn, I need to get some Bluetooth headphones instead of these crappy things. Um... Only three skin colors. Huh? Well, I'll take that. Okay. So, we're just gonna roll until we get something good. Not Gourmand. Screw that. Uh, mm, Jester's nice, but we need mind and body to be both kind of good. Uh, mind, body... Um, herbivore, courageous... Um, hmm, that might not be bad. Spirit's good, too, so he could follow a successor... Um, as an herbalist, that's not bad. Um, let's keep trying. No, there's got to be something. Okay. <laughs> I'm being picky. I'm being picky because, okay, a green thumb, not the best mind and body stats. Good spirit. Tremendously good spirit stats. Okay, come on, come on. 
Glutton and cultist? No, thank you. Uh, there's got to be a way to pick these things, like the plan carefully mod for Rimworld, at least what I've heard of. Okay, this is acceptable. Alex Lessel. Not bad. So we shall call him uh, Slava Ignatiev. Actually, no. We shall call him Slava Schwetz. Sounds good. And since we already got a guy with a beard like that, we'll give him a shorter one. We'll give him a nice short beard. Okay. So, three people with... Three people with black hair, two with red. I see nothing wrong with this. Oh! You know what? Let's just... Let's just give him... Let's just give him a beard like that. I don't... Although maybe I had better change the hairstyle. Because... I don't... I... I... I can't imagine what people might think of that. So I'd rather not. All right, that looks good. So he'll be our fighter. Okay, and we'll get our merchant caravan together here. Because I don't believe money solves all problems. I think carpenters solve problems. So why do I only get a trapper, footman, and herbalist here? Surely I also get a carpenter. Oh, wait, that must come automatically. Okay. Um, okay, so I want to start in spring here because the seasons are otherwise unbearably short around here. Roll for a new map. Because all of the trees are very high up in the mountains, and it's kind of good, but I mean, on the other hand... Okay, what I'm looking for is a place that has access to water. Not that I need it, it's just for flavor, as so many things are. That has flat land that's close to the water, plenty of trees, and some mountain access so that I can get access to minerals later on. Hmm. This is rather poor in wood. I may just have to stop being picky here. No, no, be picky because you should get what you want. Never stop being picky. Hmm. Although that is tempting. This is actually... Hmm, this is not a bad place. Although... Hmm... <laughs> Although is a dangerous, dangerous word. Get a place with a balance, with a decent balance. Okay. Um, will that be the place? Over here. I could do this all day. Okay. Let's try just rolling one more. See if I can... Okay. It's not terrific, but I can work with this. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try here. I think. Yeah. No, not there. Here. True, it does have very poor access to minerals, but it looks the way I want it to, and I'll get access to plenty of trees. Yeah. Yeah. This'll do. Because I wanted to be a farming community anyway, so... Farming in the deep north? Are you mad? Not if you begin in spring. 
Winter lasts seven months out of out of twelve, so I guess I get four months. Anyway, I mean five five months. Um to build up a farming community, but you know what? I think it will be prove to be worth it. That is a landmark I am not familiar with. I think it is probably a place where monsters spawn. I'm not eager to come across that. So yes, this is a good looking starting place. It unfortunately doesn't allow me to fully have the illusion of the town on the seaside. We can fix that later. This inland lake has no access to the sea? Okay. So let's pick a place to plop down. I feel like that's probably going to be dangerous, but we want to begin with a farming community to be... That is, that is my intention, to begin a farming community. Well, maybe. Eh, no, uh, I'll build it here. All right, so we will put the town square here. Okay, and uh, I see my first problem. We immediately lack access to trees. But as my peeps uh, expand into the darkness, we will see more trees, and we'll hack some down, and we will begin our first Izbas and Dachas. But first things first, yep, yeah, let's harvest wood and let us stockpile it. Actually, no. Let's put it, um... Let's put it between the town center and the coast. And uh, consign it to resources. Sounds good. Now, it's time to pick jobs. Now, who did I want? Slava Schwetz. You will be the town's first carpenter, I believe, was what I wanted. Zlata Sokolov? I think you'll make a fine farmer. What's this? Ah, yes. An odd bird arrives with a letter in its beak, stamped with an official seal of the Ascendancy. The bird also carries a name tag, which reads, Herald. A letter from the capital. Dear Expedition 117, I hope this letter finds you well. By my guess, you've likely set up your camp by now. As your capital liaison, it is my honor to preside remotely over the official founding of your outpost. I trust that you have had ample time to choose a name for your journey. Founding? As you know, every new settlement must choose a banner. This banner reflects your spirit and vision, uniting factor which brought the expedition together. What future did you foresee when you embarked on your quest for township? Banner. Hmm. Hold in your mind a vision of what your town will one day be. Your banner will set that course, but it is up to you to finish it. Choose well, my friends. I eagerly await your reply. Yours, Mer Burley Hans. What shall we choose? Official Settlement Declaration. Well, I'll pick the name I did last time because I realized I had screwed up when I had begun with no cook. All right. So, let's see here. Trees produce more wood, that probably would be useful. Plants and crops grow faster and have twice their normal appeal. Versus the one that really would define Arkhangelsk, since we'd be imitating the Palmors. Roads give their give, uh, give a better speed boost, dry them sell for more, and traders will bring twice the goods and gold. 
Now here's the thing. This is going to be a farming community that turns into a trading community. That's what I'm RPing as. That's what I'm roleplaying as. That's a little difficult to do here since the growing season is so short. But, I think, all things being equal, because of the fact of the short growing seasons and that seven months out of the year I'm not going to be able to grow, I think I'd better focus on trade instead. So I will, in fact, go for the trading bonus. By unanimous agreement of our citizens, we declare Rog Arkhangelsk to be an outpost paving the roads to become a trade hub. So without further ado, let's build some places to get out of the rain. I also have some Armenian buildings, which I might place at some time, but not right now, of course. Okay, so, first. Instead of building izbas this time, as those are not very efficient. Oops. I keep forgetting that the R button is not for rotating. But I'll build a tiny cottage and I will build an enclosure around it to build my first dacha. question is, where should I put it? I think I'll put it, uh, back yonder. Okay, that's a creative name there, but I want to see what this bird wants. You're not sure how you missed it before, but the bird is wearing a tiny backpack. It contains a note which reads, a little something to help you celebrate, along with three cornbread, and four roast sausage. Delicious! <clears throat> and the bird departs with our founding declaration in its beak, carrying it vaguely in the direction of the capital. Udzondalike. Well. Alright. Let's focus on getting our other people to work. So, Yosif Nevsky. We already determined you are going to be our fighter. Shura Pavlovsky? I think you would actually make a good trap. Unless there was something, someone else we had determined for that. Denis, Denis Ignatov? You are going to be our cleric. Slata Sokolov? I don't quite remember what we had for you, ma'am. We'll have you trapper because mm, we only need you to get small animals at this point. You should be fine at that. Although we might need to move on if you uh, rise up to the occasion of shepherdess. Because lifting those big animals is not for the faint of heart. All right. Actually, we will not have you trap quite that far away. That, um, that will be better. And we'll have you trap small animals. Alright. Next order of business. Yes. We will build, around that tiny cottage, an enclosure. Now this kind of sucks because I, yeah. I don't know how to delete individual blocks, which is most unfortunate because I really don't want those blocks there. But, whatever. I still got all this to work with for farming space, which is the, which is kind of the goal. Okay, so we'll build that next. After we finish building the cottage proper. Okay. How are we coming along, though? 
Actually, yeah, don't worry too much about building that right now. It's not that important. Get get the cottage itself up first. Yeah. Cottages would work with this just as well as um, the, the special buildings I am going to build. So I think I will use them. Um... <laughs> I've been playing this for so long, I should know better. But knowing better, of course, is not always guaranteed in life. That's why you should check out channels like Knowing Better, so that you can learn about things that you did not know about, or that you have been wrongly informed about for years. Now, he's not right about everything, no one is, but knowing better can help you to know better what you are doing in this life. We'll build that, though, too, because I want people to get out of the rain. I'll also um, make some creative use of this uh, oblong enclosure here that I've got. Alright. It's a little close to the town center, but that will do, I guess. I'll pause it, but I will resume it after after we get the two cottages up. All right. So what are we going for here? Obviously, this is going to be kind of the port area, and I'll dig that out to give the illusion that it actually leads somewhere. Um, which is kind of what I was shooting for. Uh, anyway, um... Once these two cabins are built... <clears throat> I think I should build a town center, except I haven't really seen anything like what I'm... Like, what one would think a town center would look like. I've seen lots of shacks, I've seen lots of that sort of thing, but... Uh, nothing really stately or majestic or communal, aside from churches, but even those are kind of small. Believe it or not, yeah, a lot of, a lot of the old Russian churches are kind of small, which is unfortunate. I was hoping to get... But then, well, actually not that unfortunate, because I was hoping to start small anyway. But I do actually see some nice, big, relatively communal buildings around here that could be good. I mean, you can basically figure out what you should build. Basically just a bigger log cabin. And what is a log cabin, after all, but wood piled upon wood? That is, that is, that is Badgerian wisdom for the day. Anyway. How are my peeps doing? Oh, good. All of them are happy. Glad to hear it. Clouds above, but... Hey, we've started building. Had some good conversations. Fluffy clouds. Over our heads. Most people there think they think they are actually gloomy clouds. Why are you so strange about this? Don't know actually. Tell you what though, we want some kind of defensive area too. And, very unfortunately, I haven't really seen anything like that. 
At least nothing I'm satisfied with. Okay, so we'll accept someone new. Ah, uh, ah, uh, but you've got to... No, you've got to change your name, though. None of this weird, uh, pseudo-English naming stuff. No, 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 no. You must have a proper Slavic name. So. What shall your name be? O Oksana Inya Andrea. Yeah, I don't think so. There is no X in Cyrillic names. Okay. But we will keep Andreev. Which is a proper name. Uh, Karina. Karina Andreev. Okay, good. She is a crafter and a pessimist. Okay, hmm. And what are your stats? Newly christened Karina? You got good mind and body and spirit stats. You know what that suggests to me. Tailor. I think you would be a good tailor. Okay. But before we can do any of this stuff... Oh, man. I have neglected to build my crafting bench, and that's, um... Surely not the best way to go about things. Okay. So... Oh crap. Where is my crafting bench order here? I did I did order a crafting bench, didn't I? Yes I did. Did it dis it it disappeared again. Oh shit. Um or maybe it didn't. Wait a minute. No, it didn't. It didn't because I have two carpenter's workbenches. Oy vey, how silly of me. Um, well. I'll sell that to the next trader I run into then, I guess. What else can you do? Herp. Ah, uh, derp. Okay. Speaking of benches, though, let's also get an herbalist bench. It's true, we're probably not going to get much in the way of herbs at the moment. Because it's just not quite suited to it, but... This is not a good land for growing herbs, but... We can at least try to make things work. Okay, so he's going to be busy crafting stuff. Um... Once he reaches level two, uh... Oh. Hmm. Well, got to be on the lookout then, oughtn't I? Actually, I think we can harvest those to get some fiber. I believe those are fiber bushes of, of some kind. Those are rocks. Those are harvestables. Okay. Okay, goody. Cabins are coming along, but not fast enough to my taste. And we are getting kind of down to the wire here. So, let's improve this somewhat. Hmm? We're going to go a little faster. We go about building. Once he gets up to level, once our carpenter gets up to level two, we'll have him build some other things that we need. Uh, by the way, we're going to update our stockpile. It will not only take resources, but it will also take construction materials, tools and goods. Um, you know, it's going to take, yeah, let's just have it take everything at this time. Because I don't have a granary yet. Okay, and we have our first tiny cottage. All right, so. I'm going to wait to get that second one up before I do much else at this time. Lots of picket fence gates being made. That's good, that's very good. 
let's move this carpenter's workbench into this tiny cottage that I've set up here. And let's also craft some more furniture. Actually, wait a minute. Actually, let's look let's look at the outside and see if we can't design something that better suits to what we already have rather than making something new. So hmm. It's got a path leading out. And there's all this green space and we'll probably farm back here. This can be used for recreational space, however. Which is what I think I want to do with it. Alright, so... That being the case... I will set a block... Sort of a patio type thing over here. And let's place some furniture down. What would be good furniture to place here? I think a table. Uh, just a couple of tables, a couple of chairs. You know, for some odd reason... Okay, no. These chairs strike me as more simple than this so-called simple wooden chair. I don't know. Am I the only one who thinks that? I mean, it's weird, but... I really... Yeah. It strikes me that way. Okay. And... Okay, that's not much, but it's... Uh, something. So I'll do that. I'll place a bench next to it. Actually, it's kind of ridiculous because it looks wide. Um, all right. That's a patio. We'll just call that a patio. And just build it. It's not going to take much. It's going to be a while being built, but hey, whatever. Did someone just disappear? Okay, there he is. This game is a little glitchy. Just a little. Don't know why. How's that other cabin coming along? It's, um... Almost there, but they still got a couple of ladders for some reason. I don't know why. Ah, Rufus Garrow is here. He's got stone items here, which is good. Because I don't have a lot of stone or metal at the moment. Uh, what do I have, though? Squirrel pelts. Soft, supple, and quite dead. Let's sell them. I'll keep the wood because we need that for building materials. I'll keep these seeds as well because we can use them. I don't think we have anything to sell at the moment. And we're not exactly interested in anything to buy right now, either. I mean, we could, but we just have no reason to. A birdbath would be nice, don't get me wrong, but... Let, let's focus on the task at hand. Besides, if I need stone, I can dig into that mountain over there. Right now, let's see to getting this... Let's getting let's see to getting these two dachas built. These two teeny tiny dachas. If anyone thinks I am appropriating Russian culture, well you'd be right. I am because I think it's cool and I take an interest in it. And if there's something wrong with that, I don't want to be right. Russian culture gets a lot of flack, and rightly so. There are a lot of things in Russian culture since the revolution that... I don't support. But there's also an older Russian culture which is found in Novgorod and in the Pomors and in 
um, and in uh, uh, Moscow before it became communist, in Imperial Russia. And there are things in that that I support. Not things like pogroms or that, but this very strong sense of being orthodox. It still lives, kinda. Despite a lot of the erosion that has gone on due to uh, socialism and the cult of state. Well, communism for me. Actually, not even that. Marxist-Leninism. Which is something entirely different. But, uh, I digress. Very far do I digress. Let's not worry too much about that right now. And let's, let's, let's just say... I really, really, really like... I like the log cabin aesthetic that is not quite American. It's not above Americanism. It's even a bit like Americanism now that I think of it. All right. I want to get another carpenter, but that's not going to happen for a while. So I will have to settle instead for getting a couple of farmers, a mason. And a weaver. But we want all of those things. Those will all be useful. I'm not going to get someone new in here just yet, because although we're pulling in a lot of food from our trapper, and we're getting a lot of wealth, although that's true, we still really need to get uh, houses over people's heads, and that's proving easier said than done, I suppose. You know, I think I will build one of these izbas, actually, for my... I'll build this Isba, which is a new one that I just created. Based off of one that I saw from Chapoma. And this will be a new building. Thank you. That would not be that would not be half bad as sort of a town hall. Actually I might not use that one. Let's see. Uh, you know, we'll save it as that. Let's see. I believe I had a... Yes, this is what I had called a large isba. Let's see. Yes, that wouldn't be half bad except not the way it's facing. It does not... Um, that's, uh, that's more like it. I think it's still a little too square for my tastes, but, um, that'll work. That will, that will work. And we'll improve it, it will, uh, yes, it's got the Russian oven here, it's got the tables, it's got a writing desk. Yes, yes, I, I, I think this will, I think this will work fine. Did I not put a door there? I have to put a door there. There we go. That's, uh, not going to work at all. I think that's the way to solve that. Okay. Ah. Uh, there we go. Now, I will save that just so... Now, I will save that just and only so. Just so as to keep that, but I really don't want to save it as that. Because... Oh, wait, what? 
Oh, for pity's sakes. That's even more ridiculous. Okay. For those of you who can't see why I just deleted that template right now, is because... Do you see that? Do you, do you see that? It's it's bouncing on top of the wall for... for some reason. I don't know! I don't... Why? There's no reason for it to. Uh... Oh, oh well. I guess it's better to do that than not be there at all, because I do need it. Um... Alright. Okay, guess I'll save it as that. Well, that being done, enough fretting, I think it's time to begin building it. Two beds, uh, let's put a couple of more beds though, because we're going to need them. We are going to need them. Um, and put them around the oven. This is a purely cosmetic oven, it doesn't actually heat people, but um, it gives the illusion. But we'll start building that so that we can get a few more people under the cover, under cover from the weather. All right, so we'll do that, and it's gonna look great. It's gonna, it's gonna look great. Okay. So we got one cabin that's in the works. It's not quite done. We've got one that's over here. And we've got invaders coming. Where? Not sure. Oh, but they're all rock monsters. But good, they're helping to slay these little stonelings here. Which is good. Some of them will be terrified for their lives as a result of this. So they're not going to like that. Others are not going to care. How did how did Dennis take this? I think he took it on the chin. He... I sl yeah, most of them don't care that they had to do this because the enemy was not that terrifying. He was an annoying pebble, not much more than that.
Peace to you, God love you, good night and goodbye.